We've been doing dark wood matter for 13 years. Each year is a new adventure. Come with us this year on our adventure of blood, sweat, and fear. Hey, what's up? Subscribers, viewers, friends, fans, followers. Everyone else, you need to get on that bandwagon. Welcome to episode two of Behind the Scenes of Darkwood Manor, Blood, Sweat, and Fears. I'm in my home studio right now. I'm not going to give you a tour because it is a mess because i got tons of things going on. But just wanted to give a little intro to this video. In this episode, you're going to see the workings of the werewolf that we're working on for this season. This, this one here is going to show like the beginnings of a duct tape dummy. Um, obviously, I'm a little short, stubby guy. So if I put a bodysuit like a, a body stocking on a mannequin to start building up my muscle suit for my werewolf costume then when I put it on me when I act it's gonna be too baggy it's gonna look goofy cartoony and I don't want that so this duct tape dummy is a true form to myself basically it is what it what it sounds like it would be wrapped in like three to four rolls of duct tape uh, basically to the point of me not being able to move and being at the mercy of three women so uh, enjoy my pain uh, keep checking back with us and like I said enjoy what's about to follow see ya okay so we're making a duct tape dummy of Brody not Brody it's a very very cheap way of doing it compared to molding and sculpting and live casting I mean, we just need the basic shape anyway so it's basically like making a mannequin of yourself uh, a lot of seamstresses We'll do that for themselves as well, so they can make custom clothes. <laughs> so they well, we chose Protégé because he is a dummy. <laughs> Just oh. kidding. <laughs> They're building a muscle suit over my muscles. Just let's <laughs> get that clear. Jeez, you're gonna want to bend me slightly. Just enough so you don't lock them. If boards. you lock them, you will fall over and pass out. So, it's gonna be uncomfortable. Tin Man costume. So every night we're just gonna wrap an actor in duct tape and uh, give him an, an axe. So hope that's okay. fails to realize that I'm cut all over so this might be a problem. <laughs> anyway, so normally you're going to do this with a sharpie 
and uh, this is where we're going to cut the cut seam is and but a lot of our sharpies are not working so we're just doing pink and you want to do the two coming down across the chest down to the center line and then the center line straight down coincidentally and, it's green like the hulk just saying you'll do the basic line and it doesn't have to be perfect just know where you're putting it and then after you do the basic line you do lines perpendicular and these are for when you tape it and line it back up after we cut him out of this so we can make sure that it matches up otherwise you'll be a little off kilter High point, center of the line, like mold with molds. Just gotta be on the side. And then this way we don't have to, with doing it across the chest, we don't have to worry about making it perfect and lining up all the arms and everything. We just have to do it on the, the legs. Ah! <laughs> roll with me, roll. Can I get some more paint? Uh -huh. A little bit. <laughs> this is Wait. the Russian. Wait, are you serious? You got to take me out? Huh? Are you, what are you doing? That's it. Making sure that. Leg hair. The cutting process has begun. And normally you want to use medical scissors because they have that rounded edge and you're not going to cut your actor. That's right. I used to do wound care. I knew. We're not that smart here. I told, I told Brody to bring the good scissors and he didn't. Thankfully, Wendy did. Ow! Brody, stop your whining! <laughs> you tell him, Mama Wendy. She cussed my jugular. That would be a great <laughs> piece of, uh, like, a fake uh, MX for the video. You got my skin off. <laughs> Ow, shit! <laughs> You're the one who fell for it. <laughs> it's gonna stop recording for just a moment. No, ladies, don't fight over oh, me. No, no, don't you're fight so over cute. me. <laughs> so cute. Dislocate your shoulders. Oh! No! <laughs> She's stabbing me. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's coming. Dexter, quit helping my leg, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dexter's helping. That's what you do. There you go. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Holy crap, look at my arms. Get a picture, get a shot of this. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Now that we've gotten the dummy off of Brody, okay. you line up all your little crosshairs and just slowly tape it. And you do this all the way along your seams. And then you'll also enclose this section. You can take a, a template of your feet, your wrists, and your neck and either use cardboard or just fill it in. And you'll stuff the whole thing with paper or whatever, so I, newspaper, all kinds of stuff. So I'm duct taping first and then I'm stuffing? You'll do it as you go along. So you'll start You'll start getting it filled so and then you'll so stuff this So seam it there and then stuff down, yeah. seam it, so it, stuff. And if you're putting an understructure in there, so like a, uh, like a PVC yeah. pipe underframe, you'll do that first, put it, set it in here, and then glue it all together, duct tape together, whatever. So then you just <laughs> stick it in there and tuck around it, tape it all up. Tape up the holes, and there you go. You've got a beautiful duct tape done with your own body. Da -da -da! Da -da -da! Oh my God, shit! Six hours later. How was it, Brody? Uh, very uncomfortable, but it's done. So. You are a trooper. Thanks Yay! for letting us pick on you. Celebrate! Yay!